everyone. Today we are going to do a chapter, and its name is the Magic Paintbrush. It is a chapter of my more book. So let us begin. The Magic Paintbrush. Read the story of a poor boy who gets a magic paintbrush. What does he do with it? Once upon a time in China, there lived a poor boy called Malia. He had to work hard every day, gathering firewood, washing pots, scrubbing floors, etc. He loved to draw. But he was so poor to buy a paintbrush. I can draw on the ground with a stick, he said to himself. But I can't paint pictures for poor people if I had a paintbrush. Suddenly, an old man appeared. He held out a paintbrush and gave it to Malian. Now you can paint pictures for the poor, he said. The old man. Who gave the paintbrush to Malian and disappeared. Malian started painting immediately. He painted a butterfly and the butterfly came to life and flew away. Malian knew at once that this was a magic paintbrush. Soon everyone in the village heard about Malian's paintbrush. Poor people began to ask him to paint things they needed. I'm so hungry. Please paint me some rice, said one poor man. Malian painted rice in a bowl for him. A bowl full of rice appeared. The poor man had his fill. Please paint me some fish, said another. Here you go, said Malia, and a bucket full of fish came to life. I'm, po I'm cold. Please paint me a coat, said another poor man. He was trembling in the freezing winter. Here, this will keep you warm. Malia painted him the warmest coat. Soon, the story of the boy with the magic painter spread across China. People in the royal palace were also talking about it. The wicked emperor heard about Maliang and his paintbrush. The emperor was a greedy man. He called Maliang and said, Draw me a tree covered with gold coins. Maliang said, No, I only paint for poor people. The emperor was furious. He told his soldiers, Lock him up. The cars threw Maliang into prison. Maliang was hungry, cold, and lonely in the prison. Suddenly, the old man appeared who gave Maliang a magic paintbrush. He said, Maliang, did you forget about your paintbrush? It can save your life too. Maliang was very happy. At once, he started to draw. He painted an island. On the island, he painted a lot of trees. All the trees were covered with gold coins. Maliang then drew a huge port of our ships. The next morning, the emperor came to the prison and saw the island. He was very happy. He immediately ordered his army to sail to the island with all his ministers. The greedy emperor went along. When the emperor was on board, he ordered Malian draw wind so that we can sail. Malian had another idea. He drew a hurricane instead of wind. Hurricane means that an extremely large, powerful, and destructive storm. There were thick black clouds and heavy rains too. The storm blew the ship far away into the sea. The emperor's ship was wrecked in the thunderstorm. Malian was free now. He walked back to his people and told everyone what had happened. Malian always painted things 
for poor people. All the villagers lived happily ever after. Thank you. And this is a Chinese folk day. Have a good day.